بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دس سیشن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ایکسٹیما فائلز ایز ڈسکس ان دا لاسٹ سیشن دیز آر دا مائکرو آرگزمس دیٹ کین سروائیو ایٹ مچ ہائی ٹیمپریچر دا ٹیمپریچر ایٹ وچ نارمل لائف کین آٹ سروائیو ڈیو ٹو دیئر ڈس ایبلٹی سچ مائکرو آرگزمس فائنڈ سو مینی ایپلیکیشن ان ڈفرینٹ بایو ٹیکنالوجیکل پروسیس وچ انوالو یوزیج آف ہائی ٹیمپریچر ناؤ دے آر سو مینی ایگزامپلس آف تھرمو فائلس اینڈ سو مینی ڈسکوریز آر اسٹل گوئنگ آن وی ول اونلی ڈسکس اے فیو دیم The most important ones uh, will be discussed in this lesson. So you can see here, basically any microorganism that can survive at temperatures beyond 45 degrees Celsius can be called as the thermophile. And the more temperature they resist, the more uh, they will be tolerant towards the high temperatures. They will be called hyper thermophiles. So one example is Thermus aquaticus. Uh, It is best known for the usage of his polymerase, DNA polymerase enzyme in PCR reactions. So uh, these uh, microorganisms can be found in many environments at which hot temperatures exist. For example, you can see here hot springs. Uh, those are uh, the areas where the temperatures uh, is almost beyond 60 degrees Celsius. Deep sea vents, again, uh, the temperature in those areas are uh, very high. Geothermal fluids, etc. So any microorganisms which is surviving in these areas uh, can be called as thermophile or hypothermophile because it is resisting high temperatures now uh, due to their disability they have found many applications in different biotechnological processes and uh, these are still being exploited in laboratories for further applications uh, uh, which we still don't know about now uh, A good understanding of the way in which extremophile molecules are able to function at high temperatures is essential for any future attempt at harnessing the extremozymes for industrial purposes. Uh, whichever extremophile we want to use for any application, we have to understand that microorganism first. Same goes with the thermophiles. Uh, there is rich uh, biochemistry of these microorganisms, how they survive such high temperatures and what kind of metabolism they have. to survive and grow in such high temperatures so we need to understand all those metabolic processes all that biochemistry of these organisms in order to use them in much more efficient way for our purposes uh, as i just mentioned uh, the most obvious and most pronounced application of thermophiles is the use of tag polymerase in pcr reactions tag stands for thermus aquaticus it is a hyperthermophile and uh, as it is uh, as it can resist high temperatures so can its enzyme and one of its enzyme is dna polymerase as we all know that in pcr reactions high temperatures are used around 94 95 degrees celsius for denaturation of the dna so at these high temperatures normal mesophilic enzymes would not survive so in the start when in the pcr was invented mesophilic uh, dna polymerases were used and uh, as these cannot survive at high temperatures for every next cycle of pcr new enzyme uh, was added so uh, the uh, process was laborious however with the discovery of this polymerase tag polymerase the pcr process became automated so once you have added this polymerase it can survive at high temperatures so you do not have any need to add new enzyme in every pcr cycle other polymerases are also being discovered and used for example pfu polymerase which has been isolated from another thermophile called pyrococcus furiosus now uh, uh, apart from uh, the usage of their enzymes uh, extremo enzymes uh, at high temperature processes other many other processes can also be done by these microorganisms and uh, those are being utilized in different biotechnological processes for example you can see here uh, these are used to produce clean energy especially bioethanol uh, hydrogen as well Uh, for these processes certain high temperatures are used at certain points so uh, such organisms are best suited for uh, these applications now you can also see here that uh, these are also being used in fuel cells basically called microbial fuel cells the fuel cells that are operated by the use of microorganisms you can see here thermophiles have lots of applications in different biotechnological processes perhaps uh, uh, they are at top, top notch position when it comes to usage of extremophiles in biotechnology This is all about thermophiles.